Oscar Ciccioni is an Argentine painter and illustrator who stands out for his science fiction and fantasy works. Ciccioni is known for his highly detailed and intricate illustrations, which often feature a surreal and dreamlike quality. His style is influenced by a wide range of sources, including science fiction, fantasy, mythology, and art history. He was born in 1957 in Corral de Bustos, Córdoba, Argentina, and his artistic journey began in his childhood when he started drawing and painting at a very young age in a self-taught way. That early passion for art he combined with typical children's games, but unlike many children who play these games in a park or a home garden, he did it in a train cemetery surrounded by rusty iron. Those images of abandoned trains and hot metal under the sun would be the cornerstone to build his own world which he would develop in future works. Since he was 12 years old, his goal was to become a comic book artist. This is how he began to study and improve his technique. When he was 70 years old, he took advantage of a school trip to escape and go to Buenos Aires to look for a job. He went to the offices of one of the most important publishing houses in the city, Ediciones Record. At first, they told him that there was no possibility of hiring him. Maybe it didn't help that he was wearing his school uniform and with his school folder where he made his drawings. But by a stroke of luck, the director of the publishing house, Juan Zanotto, began to look at his drawing while he was answering a phone call. And when he saw a drawing that interested him about the rest, he hung up the call, called the art director, and after five minutes, they gave Oscar a script. This is how he got his first job as a comic book artist after several years of training. But this perfectionism played a dirty trick on him since he dedicated a lot of time to each drawing with as many detail as possible and it became very difficult for him to keep up with the rhythm of the publication. So he decided to quit the job and return to Córdoba where he got a scholarship with Álvaro Isurieta, a figurative painter whom Oscar considers his only teacher. With this painter, he learns, among other things, about color. During this period, he thought about redirecting his career toward painting, but he didn't feel that he fit in that field. It is then that he unites passion for comics and painting and decides to dedicate himself to illustration, which he considered as a one-picture comic book. Having defined what he wanted to do, he returned to Buenos Aires and began one of the most significant stages of his career his work in Fierro Magazine. Oscar Ciccioni's work in Fierro Magazine was very important and recognized. He was the creator of the logo and the first cover of the magazine in 1984, and he made a total of 35 covers for the publication. His illustrations showed striking and original scenes of science fiction, fantasy, humor, and eroticism. Ciccioni was one of the most outstanding artists of Fierro magazine, which became a reference in Argentine comics. From the cover number one, everything came from absolute freedom. They never asked me to do anything or made the slightest suggestion. That made the covers of Fierro perhaps the best thing I did in my career as an illustrator. Then those covers went around the world and earned me a number of international awards that I would never have expected. Today I reach any country in the world and there is always someone who remembers those covers, especially those published by Heavy Metal. His work in this magazine makes him a sought-after artist for other publications. He worked as a cover artist and illustrator for the science fiction magazine El Pendulo. He did cover for the publishing house Minotauro. Among the most remembered are More Than Human by Theodore Sturgeon, The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, or Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. The beginning of his success as an illustrator also coincides with a hyperinflationary crisis that leads him to go to Europe. Oscar Ciccioni's work in Europe was very successful and varied. He collaborated with the most prestigious publisher like Mondadori, the biggest publishing company in Italy, a magazine of European and American comics such as El Eternauta, Sono 84, heavy metal, among others.
That led him to live in several countries of the old continent, but by the 90s, graphic designers were increasingly used to work on book covers instead of illustrators, which led Ciccioni to change his field and he chose the cinematographic industry and video games. Ciccioni's work in the cinema consisted mainly of creating conceptual illustrations for films of various genres and eras. He worked with famous producers and directors such as Guillermo del Toro, Francis Ford Coppola, Peter Jackson, among many others. In 1995, he collaborated with Eugenio Zanetti in the art direction of the film Restoration by Michael Hoffman. This work earned Zanetti an Academy Award, a merit that was due in large part to the contribution of Ciccioni. Other films in which he participated are Blade II, Pan's Labyrinth, the Hobbit, Pacific Rim, and Avatar. Something quite strange happens to me, because I don't belong to the industry, I'm not a Hollywood bug, I don't have an agent, I don't have anyone to promote me, but they manage to find me and I'm always contacted directly by directors. I am found only by those who want to work with me. That's pretty amazing. Oscar Ciccioni's work in video games was less than in cinema, but equally outstanding. He collaborated on the graphic part of Starship Titanic by Douglas Adams. Starship Titanic was a graphic adventure game based on absurd humor from the author of The Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy. He also worked on the game Just Cause, video game developed by Avalanche Studios and Eidos Interactive in 2006. In it, the player will be Rico Rodriguez, a CIA agent infiltrated on the fictional island of San Esperito, which is in the hands of a dictator who possesses weapons of mass destruction. Oscar Ciccioni is a true out of the ordinary, a striking illustrator with a captivating and spectacular technique with a masterful use of color and texture. Beyond his technical skill and creativity, Ciccioni's work also reflects the world of his own that he was been building since he was a child playing surrounded by ruined metal. Many of his images deal with the impact of technology on human experience. Overall, Ciccioni's work represents a significant contribution to the profession of illustration, both in terms of technical prowess and cultural impact. His legacy continues to inspire and teach illustrators throughout the world.